It's important to check and correct the spindle orientation if you've replaced the spindle encoder belt, the spindle encoder pulley on the motor, the spindle encoder, or the spindle itself. To check this, you need a magnetic base and a dial indicator. Now remove any tool that's in the spindle. Clear a spot on the table and mount the magnetic base and indicator. Press E stop. Set setting seven to off and then press enter. Press parameter diagnostics and go to parameter files. Type 257 and the down cursor. This will take you directly to the parameter orientation file. We can no longer use this value, so change it to zero by typing zero and then enter. Release the e-stop button and press reset a couple times to clear the alarm. Press the spindle orient button. This will orient the spindle to the default position. Now your drive dogs will not be in the correct position to do a tool change. So we need to adjust that by changing parameter 257. For reference, a value of 1000 is equal to a quarter turn of the spindle. So I'll use that as my baseline. Press e-stop, type 1000 and press enter. Release the e-stop and press reset a couple times to clear the alarm. Press orient spindle. In this case, it looks like I'm more than a quarter turn off. But let's start with that and sneak up on it. The parameter is currently at 1000. So I'll enter 1200 and press spindle orient again. And the spindle will orient closer to being parallel to X. Jog the indicator tip to one of the drive dogs and set it to zero. Then jog in the X direction to the second drive dog. It's not yet aligned. So we need to make another change to parameter 257. Move the indicator out of the way and press E stop. Enter a much smaller number. Press spindle orient again and then see how close it get. Repeat this process until the drive dogs are within 10,000 of an inch in the x-axis direction. Different spindle taper requires different calculation to complete the spindle orientation process. Here's a list for the 30, 40, and 50 taper. This machine is a 40 taper, so we're going to use the value of 74, but we'll get into that in a minute. Now, to calculate the correct location of the spindle drive dog, divide the value of parameter 79 by 360, which is the number of encoder counts per degree of the spindle rotation. Multiply the value by the value of 74. Round up to the nearest whole number. Now, subtract that value from the value in parameter 257. This will be the value for the new spindle orientation offset. Command the tool change without tool in the spindle or pocket. Press feed hold once the double arm is at the spindle. Make sure the drive dog is aligned perfectly with the double arm. If the arm is not completely aligned, make smaller incremental change to parameter 257 and test it again. Set setting 7 back to on. Once you're satisfied, test the tool changer with tools for proper functions. Thanks for watching.